Hey fellas, look to the left, look to the righty. That's all we need, that's all we've got. Hello, Lord, and you're watching our football. I learned from all the women in my family. He learned from me. <laughs> he learned from me, believe me. Stand it started with my grandma. Riding a bicycle at two years old with no training wheels showed me that he was going to go full speed ahead and be a superstar as he is on and off the field to his mother. He always wanted to do what he saw his big brother do. Always well-mannered. This is the little Khalil right here. <laughs> Me and Khalil were riding down the street and I had just got a new car and a dog or something ran out into the side of my car. As soon as we got in the house, he was a tattletale. My whole entire family, we always stick together and pull together. Um, and it's, it's not your problem, it's our problem. I feel honored that I had such beautiful brothers and sisters and a beautiful mother to help me along the way, especially when I was active duty military going out in the middle of the ocean floating around. I had to leave them with someone that I trusted. All three of the sisters, my, uh, my grandmother's three girls, they all found a way to live right next to each other. And it was uh, very helpful for us. We needed something to eat. These are my boys right here. Been through it all. For my brothers, my cousins, my oldest brother right here, uh, Anthony Glove. This is my second oldest brother, Sheree, from the baby. Brandon Jones, grew up with me, plays at uh, Rutgers with me. Oh yeah, and he didn't, he didn't break none of my quarterback records. He's uh, the two uh, fellas I grew up with my whole life, or well, since I moved here, and they've been my best friends. He always got something funny to say. He keep it real, though. That's a good thing. <laughs> he was a beast, always a beast on the field. Love competition, too. He was a great leader, even as a youngin'. When I was a senior, he was a sophomore, and he took the leader role right away. He was a quarterback, and uh, everybody listened to him no matter how young he was. All I remember, memories with Brandon Jones out here on this field. Believe it or not, I started quarterback on this very field here. And Brandon was my number one receiver. Uh, on the way up here, he was just joking, Thomas, about I never threw him the ball. <laughs> this was my mentor growing up through high school, Greg Pease. Uh, he really got me in the church, uh, helped me really become the man that I am today. This guy right here is probably one of the hardest working uh, kids I've ever been around. He's a kid that I would want my son to grow up and emulate. Now he's in school, he took his time and patience. And I think this year he's really going to do what he's supposed to do. We all have each other's back. And we're never, ever, ever going to quit or give up on each other. Being strong as a family, and that's what he's very, very, very big on. I think Rutgers was an excellent choice for him. Khalil, he's ready for this, so uh, I'm just his brother and I'm his number one fan. And I just want to say, go are you. And what we talk about here is just swarm and finish, and that's going to be on every single tape that you turn on. The toughest people in the field that play with, with, with great sportsmanship, that doesn't talk crash to any teams, and respects the game in the class of college football. Feel great, man. Oh, good, man. Now it's time to just take this one, celebrate, and get ready for next week. It's just a, a, a way of life. If you work hard inside school, you're going to work hard on the football field. It's just hard work in all phases of your life. You can't just be a slacker inside school. If you're a slacker inside school, you're going to be a slacker on the field. As far as academics, if we work hard in all phases of our life, we'll be all right. Every time I see him on TV, I just call him my brother, and uh, it's great rooting for him and cheering for him and uh, looking at him being very successful. My whole family can come up and see him at all times because he's only an hour and a half away from us, so. That was awesome. And I tell everybody, you know, he played football. I said, but his education is more important. And I said, and to know that he goes to Rutgers is really awesome. <laughs>